Hey, what's up guys to another Perfumery Basics video. And in today's video, we're gonna pick out three materials and review them. And so today's theme, I'm going to do a bergamot theme. So let's take a look at the first material. Okay, so the first material we're gonna look at, obviously if it's a bergamot theme, we're gonna just look at the raw material bergamot essential oil. So for anybody that's never smelled bergamot, this is a cologne classic. The, probably the most widely used top note, especially in men's colognes. It's a citrus. Uh, it's probably a cross between a lemon and an orange. It's definitely very peely and zesty and bright. And when I mean peely, think of when you take a, like an orange or a lemon peel and then twist the peel and it kind of shoots out that little mist. So it's very terpy and kind of bright. Definitely aromatic. So with bergamot essential oil though, as with any real citrus, really, the long lasting on a paper strip is very minimal. Uh, you're probably only gonna get eight to 10 hours on a paper strip. So it's definitely a top note, definitely fast evaporating. And it's a probably a, in the evaporation curve, it's not very long lasting, hence why it's always used as a top note. So, but with real, bergamot essential oil, there is IFRA restrictions on it because it is a skin, uh, a skin sensitizing agent, especially if you're out in the sun, the sun hits it and it creates these uh, reactions to your skin. You can get, you know, irritations and burns. So IFRA does restrict real bergamot essential oil down to 0.4% total in your overall perfume. So in some of my other videos, I always talk about how you can use materials in your perfume concentrate. IFRA restrictions is the percent of usage in the overall finished perfume. So it varies depending on what your final formulation is gonna be, if it's gonna be like a, an, you know, an EDT or an ED parfum or a true parfum, so it varies. So you just have to be careful when you use real bergamot essential oil. So 0.4% is the max you can use for real essential oil and the overall finished perfume. So because it is restricted, when I use this material, I use it pre-diluted down to about 20 to 25% pre-diluted. And that's mostly because it is restricted by IFRA. So when I'm using this in trial blends in small batches, it just helps me manage and keep better control over those you know restrictions so i don't overdose this material and be non-ifra compliant so again bergamot essential oil super zesty super citrusy very aromatic and peely a cologne classic on to the next material now this next bergamot material we're going to take a look at is called bergamot jivco by jivodan and this is a 100 percent synthetic bergamot rendition so the difference between this and the real essential oil i would say it's like 90 to 95 percent close bergamot jivco doesn't necessarily have that really really bright peely in your face zest but the heart and the core of this scent is still authentic to bergamot essential oil it's probably the closest uh, non-real or 100% synthetic bergamot that I've ever came across. So again, it's still, it smells just like the essential oil to me, but the essential oil just comes off just a little bit more terpy and a little bit more piercing. But overall, it's about 90 to 95% accurate and true to what essential oil would smell like. And the reason why they made this was so you can use this more freely and be, you know, IFRA uh, compliant. So you can actually use this, um, well, before I get into uses, this will actually last a little bit longer than bergamot essential oil. You'll probably now get to maybe 10 to 12 hours uh, as far as odor longevity on a paper strip, which still isn't a heck of a lot longer, but it does edge out the true essential oil just by a little bit more. So you do get better stability. You do get better performance when you go with a uh, bergamot Jivco. Now, as far as usage, when I use this in a blend, because it's not, you know, there's no IFRA restrictions on it, I use this freely. Uh, you can use up to 20% in your perfume concentrate with this and have no regrets, no restrictions. 
Uh, as far as pre-diluting this material, I don't pre-dilute this because there are no restrictions. And with most perfumes and most formulas that I've done, if I use bergamot, you can be a little bit more heavy handed with this because it is a very volatile, quick evaporating top note that you can kind of overdose the bergamot and still be okay. So that's uh, Bergamot Jivco by Jivodan. On to the next material. Now this last material we're gonna take a look at is called Bergamol by IFF. And this one, it's a little different for me. While yes, it is a bergamot-like note, again, this is 100% synthetic, this one comes off to me more lemony than it does bergamot, but it, it, is, it is probably to the untrained nose, if you'd smell it, like to a, just a, the regular retailer smelling this in a perfume, they would be like, oh, that's bergamot. And it does smell like bergamot, but it leans more lemon than it does bergamot. So it does have this, ni this nice peely and brightness, kind of like what the bergamot essential oil had and what the bergamot Jivco lacked. This one does have it, so it is brighter more vibrant, almost kind of aldehydic, uh, meaning it's just very, it's very apparent in your headspace. And it's cleaner smelling, it's soapier to me. So if I were to compare Bergamol from IFF to Bergamot Jivco and the real Bergamot essential oil, this is probably leaning the most lemony and it's definitely the brightest and the cleanest and probably the most soapy of the three. So, I would say the, the longevity on this is same uh, as like Bergamot Jivco, you're gonna get maybe 10 to 12 hours. So it does as uh, edge out the real essential oil. I mean, hence, because it is 100% synthetic, they're always gonna last longer than naturals. There is no IFRA restrictions on this, so you can use this freely in your perfume concentrate. But the thing is with this one, um, I pre-dilute this down to about 10%. Um, well, I'd say 20 to 10%, mainly because to me, this is not as an authentic bergamot note. This to me smells like it would be a great bergamot modifier. So if you're already using real bergamot essential oil, or if you're order, already using bergamot Jivco, and you just wanna give it a little kick into the, just kind of brighten it up a little bit and give it more of a, a sharper aldehydic approach, you can you know slowly dose in some bergamol IFF to give it that effect. Bergamol on its own to me could work as a bergamot note in your perfume, but I personally wouldn't strictly solely use this alone on its own as a bergamot note. I would mix and blend this with something else like bergamot Jivco or bergamot essential oil. But again, um, it's not restricted by IFRA. Uh, you can use this freely in your perfume concentrate. You can go nuts and go up to you know, 10, 20% of your perfume concentrate. But again, because it's a different take on bergamot. To my nose, it's not as authentic. I pre-dilute this down and I use it in smaller amounts to give it more of a, a modifier to my other citruses that I am using in my perfume blend. Yeah, so that's it for bergamol from IFF. All right, so that was another video. Quick three easy in, uh, materials uh, with a bergamot theme in this video. So if you like using these materials, uh, comment down below. Tell me how you guys are actually using these materials. Um, and if you have any comments, suggestions on future videos of things you would like to see reviewed as well, comment down below. So with that being said, until next time.